Today we are going to talk about wedding photography poses to inspire your next photo shoot. Yo, what's up my brother, what's up my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing video. In this video today, I'm going to share with you 50 plus wedding poses to inspire your next wedding photo shoot. Ready? I remember when I had just started wedding photography, the most challenging part was shooting the photo session. Shooting the ceremony after party reception was all super easy, but the challenging bit was the photo session or call it the garden session. The biggest challenge was posing people who aren't models. There was advice I got here and there on the internet about how to shoot weddings. And most of the common advice I got was about letting people be themselves. But the truth is, it did not make sense to me, a person like me who wanted to position myself as an extraordinary photographer. So I went online, started collecting different poses from other different photographers and modeled these particular poses, embedded them into my shoots and created a system or a style that has served me to death. Before we get into the poses, I want you to understand this one thing. One of my favorite wedding photographers, Jerry Guionis, once said, a pose without emotion is just a pause but add a little bit of emotion then you have an awesome picture i never took that statement at surface that was too deep and to date i still follow the same principle while doing my wedding photography and other kinds of photography don't just copy a pose but think of ways to evoke emotion out of your couple out of the people you're shooting you don't want to shoot something austere however the basic framework of posing people is this men want to look and feel cool while women want to feel sexy and beautiful. So I'm going to categorize the poses in two sessions. First, we are going to look at couple poses, then look at the bridal poses, then look at the groomsmen poses, and we are now going to look at the wedding posing, how to pose wedding groups. Lastly, we are going to look at the fun, hilarious poses that you can add into your shoots just to lighten up that bridal album for your fan couples. Let's get on computer. I show you some of these pictures, but before we get onto computer, please note most of these pictures are as far as 13 years old. I did these pictures 13 years ago when I had just started doing wedding photography. If you're enjoying this, of course, click the subscribe button and of course, leave me a comment below what is resonating with you right now. So we're going to start off with couple pauses. My favorite pose of all these poses is this particular one, the body to body. I choose to call this the body to body pose because it is where the groom and bride face one another and then they get into deep conversations. Most of the times when I'm shooting these couples, I tell them, hey, tell your bride sweet nothing, say something to her, keep talking to her. The reason as to why I do this, I don't want the pose to look very, very perfect. But once they get into talking more than laughing, they a bit loosen up. And that is the beauty of how this particular pose comes out. And, you know, I've done it in many ways. It is still almost the same pose, but just a little bit of distortion for this couple. But the whole essence is, is keep them talking to one another, interacting with one another. You know, it is these moments that make the whole moment magical. They are facing one another, but what makes this pose real? is the interaction between the couple because these people know one another so in essence the groom knows how to make the bride laugh if they are really in love and you would see the magic the goal is not to have it that perfect so it is the same pose that we are doing here the more they talk to one another the more they play around the more you get a more natural feel it is still the same concept here body to body them facing one another this is the same concept here. The groom, of course, holds into the waistline of the bride and he begins saying sweet nothings to the bride so that you get that romantic kind of uh, vibe in the whole thing. It is the same concept here, though here we had this couple face body to body and act like they were dancing. Basically, they went into dancing mode and this is how beautiful such a moment comes out. Now, I'm going to go, this brings me back to my next pose my next pose i'm going to show you is this one that i call the car lean i'm calling it the car lean because we have the groom usually lean over the car and we have the bride come in and sandwich the groom so the groom pulls the bride in and they get into that kind of interaction of course 
don't forget to tell your couple to keep talking to one another. Most of the times I task the groom to create conversation with her bride so that they talk to one another. That is the only way you can get these moments more magical. They loosen up and you get that kind of feel. It is still the same concept still the same thing i just do it in different frames when you look at this this is the wide shot and in this particular one i had of course the cup somebody my assistant hold the veil and throw it up so that to create a bit of motion and all that now this is much more now going to the artistic side but for the pose it is the guy leaning over the car and pulling the bride in closer to him it is the same concept here we repeat the same concept here on even a smaller car in that here i also have the veil thrown out to add in a bit of it is the same concept just repeated in different angles with different couples this is one of the things i don't miss out in my wedding shoots it is still the same concept now this brings me of course to my other pose king on the throne i call this one king on the throne this particular pose i have the groom sit in a chair family like uh, he owns the whole world and i have his bride stand besides him as the queen but the way i get the bride stand i get her stand in such a way that her body is flattered more you want her body to look to come out well accentuated if she's wearing a cinderella gown you want her to look like cinderella like a princess like i don't know i don't know even how to explain it but it is having the man speak authority speaking like he owns the world it is still the same concept i apply here have him sit straight and i have the bride stand on the side you know the goal is to have the bride accent have the bridal gown accentuated more but again the groom showing his kingship and his leadership thing now it is still the same concept only that this time i have the bride again coming even more just to be like he, she's about to give the guy a hug so in the, it is these imperfections that make the moments feel sweet so this brings me back to my next pose. My next favorite pose is this one here. I call it the, the whisper sweet nothings pose. Now, as you looked at the first pose, we looked at the body to body pose. Of course, they pose body to body. So I let the bride look far away from the groom. I, I get a particular spot. I tell the, the bride, okay, now you're going to look at that building over there. And then I ask the groom to whisper sweet nothings into the bride's ear. Once the guy begins speaking sweet nothings into the bride's ear, this is where you get the bride busting out and laughing. And the imperfection of the moment is what makes the whole moment this enjoyable and beautiful. So this brings me to the next pause. There is this classic papa mama pause. I call this the classic papa mama pause because uh, when you look at the wedding pictures of uh, most of your grandparents or your parents, they have this traditional pose right here where the groom is standing facing straight and of course the bride just a little bit tilted and facing one another this classic pose is one pose you don't want to miss out actually most of the times when i'm shooting this is the first pose i do for the couple because it is an important pose you know before you go into those other poses you want to shoot first do the ones that are necessary and this is a necessary pose to have this classic papa mama kind of shoot it is straight no fabrication at all it is just showing off the gown and showing off the guy's suit showing off the couple the newly wedded couple it is as simple as that i go on doing it over and over again i repeat the same pose here because even if the timekeeper if you've been into african weddings there is usually that timekeeper who who comes and uh, they say we are running out of time as if they can even slice the cake before the couple comes in they always be rushing you so it is always best you shoot these poses first the next pose i come up with is the hero bride now this hero bride pose it's where i have it is the goal of this particular pose is to show off the bridal gown but with the groom present i call it the hero bride is because i place the groom most of the times in the background and i have the bride come at the front that is why i call it the hero bride and i've i do this pose always most of the times i have the groom you know just stare at the bride in such a way that he's uh, admiring the gown admiring the princess and all that stuff 
so i call it the hero bride because i have the bride at the front and i put the groom back in perspective this is a very beautiful pose to have so it is the same pose i repeat but in different frames and different expressions from the groom the groom is not the point of emphasis but the groom spices up the whole scene by adding in a bit of emotion and adding in a bit of more depth in the, into the scene so i still repeat the same pose now in this particular one i just have the groom just admiring the line of horizon then i have the bride stand in the front you know just pointing back at the groom it is still the same concept having the hero bride in the front this is the same concept i go on repeating over and over again you know now i have this the horizon pose this is where the groom just holds this is where the couple actually the group can actually have them hold hands or you can have them hold themselves by the west and then the groom points at a particular far line of horizon just showcasing they want to enjoy if, it, if they're looking at the sunset it would be super beautiful but in this particular wedding of tony i think we shot this particular wedding in the afternoon but we were lucky that we had a far point of horizon and the way i usually frame this i make sure the headroom is usually long especially if i don't have a line of horizon like a beach now in this particular case when you look the line of horizon is shrubby it only had papyrus and the like and since it was not a straight line of horizon i had to make the framing a bit of uh, uh not the perfect framing i had to give it a big headroom so that I make, I elongate the line of horizon to create more distance and more romantic feel into the whole scene, you know. Now, we have the other pose that I love so much. It's called the leader. This is where you have the groom leading the way. You're basically having the groom asking the bride, hey, I'm leading the way. I am the king. I'm the leader. Follow my lead. I know where this relationship is going. I know where I want to lead you. Most of the times I have seen pictures where people have the bride at the front of this. But in this particular case, why I place the groom at the forefront is about to is about flaunting leadership, is about flaunting kingship, is about flaunting, how should I call it, a general of an army. You know, this is somebody leading a battalion. He's a king, he's a ruler, he's a leader. He knows where the whole thing goes. I do it. I've done this in different angles, in different... Now, this is a honeymoon shoot, but still I repeat the same concept over and over again. It is still the same shoot. Now, this is one of the most difficult poses to do because I had to do almost like uh, 10 pictures to get this shot perfect because most of the times they were knocking one another. It's much more of uh, rehearsing and all that. And of course... Uh, there is one photographer I saw that explained this very, very well. I do, I've forgotten the name, but it doesn't have to appear as if you are pulling. The groom is pulling the bride. It has to appear, to appear as if they are going into a romantic kind of walk. This brings me to my other pose. Of course, it is still the same pose, but again, when you look, it is the groom at the forefront admiring the bride. The other tip I'm I would want you to put into consideration always and always ask the groom to talk to the bride because the groomsmen in most cases know how to make their wives laugh they know how to make their women smile and ask the groom hey tell the groom hey say sweet nothings to your bride this brings me again back to my other pose still inspired by the body to body i call this particular one the lip stare now the lip stare this is where i have of course them the foreheads knocking you know, and then they stare at each other's lips. You know, if you find a couple in love, in most cases, some people even end up kissing in this particular pose. You want them to get buried into the whole moment, sandwiched into the whole moment. Basically, just I want you to look at how the hands are holding one another. I have the bride hold at the back of the head of the groom. And then I have the groom hold the bride tight, closing her in. Then this side of the hand of course to make sure you see the ring of the bride and then you get them look at each other's lips once they look at each other's lips definitely the lips are going to loosen up and they're going to go into that moment of them wanting to kiss you know that is where you get actual typical emotion and reality in the whole scene okay now 
it is still the same thing over here you get them look at each other's lips you don't want them to stare into each other's eyes when they stare into each other's eyes truth that is creepy you rather tell them to close their eyes and get into that romantic moment you know so we get into this is still the same pose but shot at a different angle get them staring at each other's lips these people love one another i think the groom does can't wait to kiss her bride rather his bride again after the wedding is done so have them do all these things at the end of the day when they're looking at their album they have to feel something let them feel something when they're looking at their album now i have this brings me to my other poses now i call this the love story now these particular shots i usually shoot them on tripod stands and i get the couple move in different positions so when i get in post-production i put these pictures on top of one another and then i reduce the opacity of the underlying layer of course i can't go through of how i do all this but the goal of all this is about telling a story is about storytelling now when you look at this particular picture i'm trying to show okay now the groom spotted the bride the bride was looking away in the first piece then the groom moved closer to approach also the bride approached so when they got here they fell in love basically it is one it i'm telling a story in one picture using multiple exposures this is done on a tripod okay so we get into my other it is still the same thing the same concept now here i have the groom pick up the shoes he stands somewhere there he moves closer and then the picture that I leave that he without with the full opacity is that picture where he's putting on the shoes of the groom, the shoes of the bride. And these pictures are shot on tripod, but you come and stitch them on top one another. This is, I think, I think I did this wedding in uh, back in 2012. You know, it is these pictures that people look at that visit them and they say, wow, this guy must have been a creative photographer. This is the thing that is going to make you a different a different photographer that is going to give you lifetime clients that would want you to shoot their wedding. It's these moments people look at and they respect you for that. Ready? Do you want us to dive into other concepts? I repeat the same concept here over and over again. I'm going to dive into my other concept now. I call this the romantic walk. Now, I love the romantic walk. The romantic walk here, I usually have the bride and groom hold hands or they move talking to one another the goal is have them talk to one another don't get them staring at the camera let them talk to one another talk to one another holding hands laughing i do the same concept here talking to one another however it is a challenging pose if the bride is putting on a heavy cinderella gown with a long trail so most of the times when i'm doing this particular romantic walk shoots i do it for brides that have worn simple body hugging gowns because unless you're going to have the bride maybe hold her gown up with both hands and then walk while staring at the groom but for my case i usually love them holding hands looking into each other's eyes so for a cinderella gown this pose is a bit challenging so i usually do it for brides that are wearing that are wearing simple gowns this brings me again to the same pose now when you look at this bride of course she's still wearing a cinderella gown but it's not a heavy gown but you look that this hand is all heavy holding the gown but i tried to make it work because this couple particularly wanted this particular shot because it feels real looking at your album and seeing all these moments the couple would even barely remember that you made them do these things but all they look at is how beautiful their wedding was and most of my couples most of the brides have shot they have hired me because of the photo sessions because look at it this way everybody can do photojournalistic moments everybody can shoot the ceremony for as long as they know how to frame they know how to light but what is going to make you as different from other photographers is this simple direction of you taking the bride from just mere pausing into the austere known things to adding a bit of life to adding a bit of emotion i i think i've i've been blessed to watch the most 
talented photographers do their thing and i'm super grateful for all the opportunities that they gave me and i learned a lot from these people the goal is about bringing out emotion it is still the same thing talking to one another half the couple interact remember you're shooting the people you're shooting are not models they are normal human beings it is this interaction that brings the moment to life that breeds the moment into life so let me get into the other pose now i love this pose so much now this pose here is known for everybody uh if you're shooting a plus size couple this particular pose is not for them i call this particular pose the spanish guitar pose because it's where the groom holds the bride just as a guitar and then she falls back and looks into her eyes you have to be super careful of course the groom has to put his legs apart for stability and you get the bride of course stand on one leg and raises one leg and she looks right up into the sky as the groom looks into his into her eyes this pose here i think i did this this image here i don't know is it about eight ten years ago you know i i don't even know where the original pictures are but i got this off my facebook page and it's such a beautiful moment it is the magical moments that make weddings amazing this brings me to my other pose i call it the spoon now the spoon this is where we have the groom stand behind the the bride and then he whispers sweet nothings usually it's a kiss on the shoulder it's a kiss on the neck i still do the same thing they get into deeper conversation some most of the times it is advisable when you look at this one if i the bride is admiring the groom and the groom just wants to sniff into the perfumes of the woman he, he wants to have her hold by himself you know you make them pull one get into one another and you know it is still the same thing they spoon they look into each other's eyes this is the same thing the spoon just the groom standing at the back of the bride is still the same thing kissing the neck kissing the shoulder area and all that stuff okay still the same thing you know it is the same pose but done at different angles i this this is one of my favorite poses i think every one of my couple has this particular pose it is a classic one it is loved so much and it brings out a lot of romance and it it is a super clean kind of pose we have the titanic now the titanic of course here i have the couple just stand at a much higher place i have the groom stand at the side and then they hold one another the groom holds the the bride you know but from the back and he points at the line of horizon or somewhere i love this pose so much i've done it even on two on one places where i've got an opportunity to go for boat cruises with the couple i still repeat the same pose i call it the titanic because i just have the bride open herself up to the world and i have the groom just play whatever he has to play from the behind of, from the back of the bride so that is all those are my best couple poses wait are you still here then surely you're enjoying this in the comments below tell me which of those couple poses that i've mentioned there that has really resonated with you and of course i cannot pack everything in this one video so i decided to segment it in two parts the next segment of this video is going to be about bridal pauses. Are you ready to watch this? Awesome. I'll see you in the next video. Leave me a comment below of what has resonated with you among the couple pauses and I'll see you in the part two of this video. And adios.